How's it going everyone? I'm the Boot Hill Kid and uh, I'm here at the old man's warehouse with him. At the wood shop now. It used to be a warehouse, but it's a wood shop now. What's going on, Pop? Much. How's it going? So I uh, wanted to see if you had your EDC bag on you tonight. Yes, I do. And you do. I'm proud of you. Yes. I'm not, day, Carrie. I'm not been carrying mine as diligently as I should. So I we it every day. Well, we did a EDC bag dump video. I was here before last. Uh, I think we did one. I think it was almost two years ago. It's been a while. So anyway, your bag has changed, and most likely the contents have changed. Yeah. Somewhat. Somewhat. All right. So uh, I've got new camera that I'm testing out. So we're gonna get one angle on it. It's a wide angle, and then I'm gonna get more of an up close shot of uh, what Papa's got in his bag. So. Uh, where you want to start? Uh, don't matter. Just start on the outside. All right, that'll work. It's just things we got. Get it work. <clears throat> Hand sanitizer. Put those uh, put put those over here so I can get a close up of them without getting the shot. Hand sanitizer. Okay, you can go ahead and move them now. I just leave them there. This is a green lubricant. I don't know what it's made out of exactly, but. Uh, the green people really like it. What kind of lubricant is it? It's, you know, it's like... Like multi-purpose? Yeah. It's, like the uh, other kind? No. <laughs> Non-aerosol lubricant. It's like a... I forgot why well, I've read it. Kind of like machine oil? In there. No, it's uh, it's green, so it's, it's environmentally friendly. Oh, okay. It's, I'm going to say... Home shop and sports. Oil, vegetable oil. I don't know what it is. Good for the environment. Huh. Cool. Let's go and got move that these over here. Uh, trade show. All right. What else you got? Let me make sure my other camera angle's still good. Let me move this up just a scotch here. Yeah, I still got you there, boy. I like that wide angle. All right. I'm not sure what bag I had the last time. I don't know if it was the. Uh, I don't remember. I'll have to go back and look. Trail maybe that I got from that Walmart. Might have been maybe. it. I'm not really sure. Might have been anyway, it. The bag I had probably had bags attached to the outside for... I think, believe it did, Different yeah. things. What is this one? So I got on the internet and found this. Explorer? Explorer. Okay. On Amazon. Yeah. And I got it because it has a lot of pockets. Yeah. Uh, the other stuff was Motley t attached, and a lot of times things would get under it. It would get hung on stuff, mm. and these are all attached to the bag, and it's got plenty of them. And I guess we can sure start this by is. undoing this. This is actually good for it comes apart. So you don't have any Molly pouches on this bag right now? No, I don't have any Molly pouches on it, no. Okay. It's so no no Molly pouches, molly, but Molly webbing. Molly. Yeah. Very little. It's, so it's got a few it's got a few on the side here. You can add Molly to it. But it's got enough pockets that I don't need to add anything. So to let it. me ask you this, because we've gone You've been prepping a lot longer than I have without really calling it prepping or realizing it was a thing. Uh, probably for, since the first Red Dawn came out. Preparedness awareness. Yeah, so, but <coughs> I've been doing it probably... I was a prepper before there was a such thing as a prepper. But I kind of got into it probably close to a decade ago, about the time I was getting out of high school. Uh, and we've changed a lot of stuff about the way we do things. So do you prefer a bag without the pouches, the Molly pouches attached? Or do you prefer... What what I I kind of because like I said the Molly pouches a lot of times things will get hung under them right and things and the, nothing can hang under these these are made to the bag there's nothing to get hung underneath them and there's a lot of them so it's nice with Molly pouches to add stuff that you don't have room for in the bag but yeah. I found kind of the same thing when you get to adding like pouches like you add Molly pouches here well then it's yeah. hard to get in here right you know what I mean so and then they stick out which this sticks out a lot. But I don't have a lot in it. And like I said, you can cinch these up, and that it pulls it in pretty good. Right. And then this, they, they can cinch it way on down. But right. also, during the day, like right now, we have, it's January, and it was 60-something degrees the other day, so it's fairly warm. And so, today is 32. Yeah. So I'll take these and put either a set of, a pair of bibs in here. It's actually 27. Or a, uh, 
like a, a hoodie. Right. I can roll it up and stick it in here. And, oh, that's and actually cinch pretty it nice. Down. Is that only one yeah. strap or you got no, two? I've got two. Got here. two cinch straps. So yeah, yeah. that's kind of like a, a bedroll type. Yeah. Type deal. Like you, if you were taking then, this camping, you could roll up a, right. a wool blanket and stick in there. And, <clears throat> Which it's kind of on top of your entrance, but it's not that big a deal. You well, but for stuff you want to get quickly, yeah. Down. It's better than being under here because then you can set it on there. Oh, it's got Molly on the bottom. Go and look at it. Back it does have Molly on the bottom. So, yeah, I mean, you could put a sleeping bag or something there if you wanted yeah, to you use could. this for camping. You could. You could just strap it up with paracord. Got these, which the only thing I don't like, these don't unsnap. Right. Okay. Like the they're that just snap and yeah. you can put things in there, but you can loosen them and put things in there. Right. And actually, when I bought this on the back here, it had uh, these here. I've just got them up there out of the way. They come down, and it had another thing on here that had two more pouches on each side. Uh, waist, belt strap, waist strap. Oh, yeah, they yeah. had two pouches, but. That was way more stuff than I needed. I well, for an EDC really. bag, you shouldn't be so heavy that you need a waist well, strap. It was just in the way. And I used them. I, I folded them around and had them hooked to where they were behind the bag, and I kept stuff in them. Right. But it just was too big too and much. too bulky, which that's almost too big. And right this there. is actually a pretty large backpack for it an EDC a, bag. It is, a bag. it is big. But when you cinch it down, it's not as bad. But now it's worth noting but, too, folks, when you're doing an EDC bag, uh, Pop has got, Pop, my dad's got his set up because he leaves at about a quarter to seven seven o'clock in the morning and sometimes he doesn't come home till 10 or 11 o'clock at night so i mean it's all day yeah i mean it's all day so anyway let's go ahead and get more uh we'll, we can talk more about the bag later let's go ahead and see what else we got here inside it opens up pretty good i like like the way it opens up i've got a uh, hard cooler in here to kind of keep it open a little bit with a, another little soft cooler that i carry a couple bottles of water during the summertime, I'll put one of these in the freezer and freeze it and stick it down in here so I'll have... Instead of keeping an ice, ice pack. Yeah, and then, and then I, as the ice melts, I can drink it. And that's the uh, the other the hard cooler insert. Yeah, it's that's an insert, just, yeah. It's just, this is out of one of those coolers from uh, that one store that I ain't real fond of. It starts with a W. <laughs> one of those, it's just a little cooler that was like this, but it was made this, this right. shape. Okay. I just stuck it down in there to keep... A little rigid, kind of rigidity. Rigid, yeah. Keep it from squishing anything yeah. in your cooler. Okay. All right, what else? I see and then, something uh, else by there. I always carry SpaghettiOs. Yeah, you can eat them cold. They don't have right to out of the microwave. Got the top. The yeah, I like that. They changed the, to the full tab tops. But they didn't change the ravioli. Ah, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. <laughs> so, I carry this. P38. P38 hooked in here. <clears throat> that will hooked on can with a carabiner. It's just a carabiner hooked yeah. in the back of that. And that should be your hydration <clears throat> bladder deal there. Yeah, it on. probably comes through. Yeah, through the back. So. <clears throat> it has a pouch back here that I keep. Throw away spoons, utensils. utensils. <clears throat> I keep these little clips right here. Binder clips. For if I get a bag of potato chips or something on break and don't eat them all, I can roll them up and clip them down it. with that. And then slide them in here and they don't get smashed. That's right. kind of what that's for to keep things from getting smashed. Uh, by another, the way, if you're going to look at a camera, look at that one because I'm just getting close up Another here. pouch here that, uh, that's got Cinnamon Jolly Ranchers, but you can... I'll keep like snacks in here if I take a snack or something. So suffice to say that your main this is this the main, main so main the main pouch. is pretty much your your food situation. Food, water, but I mean it and it's got like snacks in there and then it's got these other got pouches. Some more pouches here. Yeah. Uh I think this has got a couple of plastic bags that I've got for trash or whatever. That's just another pouch with nothing in it. It's got a lot of storage really. So basically I don't even when use you half of these, these are more bags, paper or plastic bags for trash or whatever. So when you pack this thing up, basically its main pouch is what you're setting up for your all day food. If you get hungry, water. If you get thirsty, that kind of stuff. Well, yes. Okay. We get a break at nine o'clock at work, and when I first started there, I tried to buy a break, and it gets expensive. Very expensive. As, as things go up, so I've got to where I just take my own plus. On the weekends, I farm, so I go to the farm at 7 o'clock. I'm there until, who knows, just whenever we quit. So I've got to have breakfast, break, lunch, dinner, snacks, everything on the farm. Right. So at, uh, at my other job, I can come home. I come home at lunch, but 
I just keep these because I've got out before and, and, and had to be away from home longer. Something would come up and it, I just like to keep food. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know, like when you and I go on a trip or something, say we're going to look at a Jeep or, or a motorcycle or anything to buy. The bag goes with me. I mean, you take the bag, if you get hungry or you break down, you've got food. So and This bag is basically set up for my work. Right. I've got another bag that I, I carry that's more of a going out of town bag, I guess, but this one is mainly set up for work. Right. And right. this has got the, a pouch in the front here. Trying in to hold here. it still, YouTube. I'm sorry if I'm getting a little shaky. In here is another pouch that has got uh, cell phone charger, cable, got the cigarette lighter plug, got for several different things, mini auxiliary cable. I'll yeah, see. well, it's got the yeah, it's got the one to plug into a stereo, yeah. but it's got it for the micro USB, mini USB, right. and all of those because I've got several different things. So that's your electronics, kind of a maintenance kit? Yeah. 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 Then I've also got this, which is the battery charger, solar charger. Okay. It is pretty handy to have. How many milliamp hours is that? I think it's like, uh, it's on up there. I can't remember. It's probably what it says on the back, maybe. I don't know, maybe. Let's see. It's pretty good size. 15,000 milliwatt 15, amp. I was yeah. going to say 16,000. Milliamp hour. Pretty close. And then I bought I actually like this. that. That's pretty nice. It's got a light on the back. Yes, it has a light. Like, not just one of little light. chintzy LEDs no, it's either. A, that's a, it's a flashlight. Yeah. And then I've got this to hook to the windshield. And mainly, I use this when I'm on the tractor. Yeah. Because I don't... I, I keep my phone out so I can see it for a clock and... Right. So forth and so on. So I'll stick Just that suction on the cup. Yep. Yep. In the tractor. Uh, that's what's in there. Let's get this. a close up of this here. What? Uh, what? Where'd you get this pouch? Is this come? This thing that come with the came back, off of Amazon. No, that came off of Amazon. Just to guys, I will try in, to link to this Molly. pouch. I just go to Amazon and type in Molly pouches. And all these pouches come up, different ones, and I just look like at the ones I think that, that might work for me. This small pouch on the side here has got earplugs in it. Uh, I work around heavy equipment. I'm an equipment operator. I might ha We might be running a jackhammer or who knows what. So I uh, concrete saw, so I, just, I keep earplugs in there. This another one on this side. It's just got rubber gloves because you never know. Sometimes we'll patch pipes we'll have to mess with tar or whatever or chemicals just where i work i work for the city and i could be doing anything during the day right a little bit of everything right uh this pouch down here i definitely like pouches yeah this is uh, uh what's in there oh that's flash drive that's got stuff on there for work we, we keep our kids pretty modular as far as being able to pull stuff out. This is more like a clerical thing. It's got yeah. ink pens and stuff. I do GIS mapping for work sometimes, and it's got different color pens for marking different things. Uh, I actually, we make the city's street signs and stuff, and this has got a, a weeding tool, if you know anything about making signs, to peel the stuff off and then bubble popper, just stuff like that I might use on the job. Uh, and then I'm guessing this other, I call this my clerical pouch. I'm guessing this over here has just got paper, ruler, notebooks, different papers for different things. Field notes. Yeah, writing, calendar, and various things in there. Just goes along with that. And then this one has just kind of got a little bit of everything in here. I've got uh, the uh, paracord. Paracord. This is a thing you got me at a trade show. It's got... Yeah, I got that at um, Fabtech one year. Yeah, it's got screwdrivers in there. Should have Torx bits, Phillips, uh, Phillips Torx, and straight. flat. Yeah, it's got them both. Or got all three of them. And then the paracord actually has come in handy. I've used that several times. I've got a uh, little kit here that came actually from Dollar... Dollar Tree, dollar tree for yeah. a dollar. Yep. It's got screwdriver screws. All <coughs> eyeglasses kinds of kit. It's yep. an eyeglass, eyeglass repair kit. kit. And believe it or not, I have used it before. That's just a small sewing kit. 
Had never used it. I got it Dollar Tree too. Well, we like the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. They, they've got a lot of cool stuff. They've got a lot of stuff at Dollar Tree. That's uh ah, that's a handy little thing right there. You can plug that into the back of your truck where your trailer light tester pulls up yeah. yeah plugs up and you can test to see if your lights are working on your truck or tell you which one to hook up to hook the lights up and actually there's some stuff maybe in another pouch i used to have some crazy glue in there i don't know what happened to that you probably used it and forgot to replace it no i don't know might be in another pouch this is just a pair of glasses extra pair of glasses just uh, cheap readers i'm getting can't see very good, I'm getting old. That's all that's in there. In here, I'm thinking is a pair of safety glasses. Safety sunglasses? Yeah, sunglasses, safety glasses. Just an extra pair in case I, I have them Go ahead and turn the bag if you don't care. Before. It's you just that, same pouch on the side. Empty. This has nothing in it. What was in here was a uh, Bluetooth speaker and a uh an old phone that i would use i'd turn the phone on for music yeah had bluetooth speaker that i could put wherever and track have it. music when i was on the uh actually that's for my first job because they don't have <laughs> stereo stuff my farm <laughs> job we have nice tractors with stereos in them. uh and then you've got this big pouch here with these two on the side yeah you've got this big pouch here with these two on the side right and then over here you have this clips. These are just to kind of hold them up a little bit. Keep tighter. them from bouncing around. Yeah. And it's got this one on the top here. It's got a bandana. It's always good to have. You never know when you're going to need a bandana. Right. This is just a... I got a bunch of these on sale at Walmart. I'm going to go ahead and say the name. <laughs> at Walmart one year, I bought some of these for different family members to put in their vehicles uh first aid kit and these little fire starter kits and i just have some matches in there just and actually we've looked at this and i just want to, one thing i want to pull out here open, open that up because that's actually i don't like these pre-made kits i've said that on other videos i don't like these but this is actually a yeah. pretty damn good fire starter go ahead I don't know that one's not been it. used no i've never used it there you go brand new it's it's actually not not a bad fire starter once you uh you get it struck a couple times you gotta get that outer coating off there but i've actually used one out of another fire kit just like this yeah. now these matches they're not worth a damn well those came from actually out of my mre yeah those but they're not worth a damn well i mean they'll strike <laughs> they'll strike but uh it's, i don't care for them they're hard to strike and they don't no, last those long are pretty good those are military. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of these kits, but I like these pouches. Waterproof cases are nice, and yeah. And basically, you can add, get them and add to these yeah. things. Just whatever you need in there. Most, That's what a lot of the stuff we get is usually for the container. And most first aid kits are boo-boo kits. Yeah, they're band-aid band -aid kits. and so forth. I'll add things to mine, which I'm guessing is what this is probably is. And... uh this would be my the extensive boo-boo kit yeah sort of here this let's has uh, got, uh let's that a little bit closer here so i'm not getting in the camera this is just some tums for an antacid this is a pain reliever these also came from dollar tree you can get them for a dollar we just I refill just those. Refill those, yeah. yeah. I usually put in... because the the you can't hardly find bottles that small anywhere. No, and they're good. And they yeah, fit perfect small. in these. Yeah, they do. I've got some as well. Uh, and then this is like antiseptic in here. Uh, actually, I'm going to correct you there. Uh, the the stuff right the there for... that is bite and sting relief. Yeah, yeah. Is that not antiseptic? No. All right. It, it's different. That is menthol and um, <clears throat> oh, what's the lidocaine? Lidocaine and menthol. Okay. Like bee stings and stuff. Yeah, bee stings and bug bites like and that kind of stuff. Acid. And here is an emergency blanket. I've got those everywhere. Yeah, I've got a bunch of those in different there used kits. To be one in there. I guess I took it out. I didn't want too much redundancy, I guess. And in here is a couple of zip ties, band aids, alcohol pads, different things like that. There's probably a thermometer in here and. Not a whole lot. Mostly just band-aids, stuff for 
cuts and scrapes at work and stuff. We have first aid kits in all of our vehicles at work that are a little more extensive. This is just more of a boo-boo kit. Yep. I actually... But a more extensive boo-boo kit than what you buy. With the bite and sting relief stuff, there's some kits that have that, not a lot of them. Um, but that's a little bit more of an extensive kit. And actually, my other bag has got a a lot better first aid kit. It's right. got It's actually got a surgical kit in it. If I ever need to sew myself up. Well, that's a, another thing that I'm glad you said that, that I, I wanted to hit on. Um... Anybody who can still carries needs to consider having some sort of a more extensive first aid kit. An IFAC is what it's called in the military, an individual first aid kit. Something to stop major bleeding uh, for the simple fact you're carrying a gun. Um, accidents happen. Uh, actually, we know a gentleman who uh, his gun fell out when he was in the restroom and shot him in the leg and barely missed his femoral artery. Um, it was a 22 Magnum. What are those? The a Derringer. Well, it's not a Derringer. It's the revolver. The 22 Magnum little tiny revolver with the folding handle. Um, anyway, it's it got a known issue that he wasn't aware of. It fell, falls out of his pocket, lands on the hammer. He had it on a dead cylinder like you should have it on if you're carrying a revolver. Um, it rotated the cylinder enough and struck and actually shot through his leg and just, I mean, by millimeters missed his femoral artery. Um, that, that's why I'm an advocate for carrying some sort of a IFAC type kit to be able to patch yourself up. Um, everybody hopes and prays it doesn't happen to them, but accidents do happen sometimes. This is just a set of earbuds that I didn't take out when I took that other stuff out. Bluetooth earbuds. I've got that same, uh, I had them same They're ones. My handy. dog chewed them up. They're pretty handy. When you're on equipment all day, I've still by got yourself, the case of mine. <laughs> sometimes it's uh, handy to have. This is a little larger pouch on the side here. It's got handy wipes in it, uh, just napkins. You'd roll toilet paper. You don't ever know when you're going to need it. Kind of handy. Blow your nose. <laughs> or eating and stuff. And when you eat on the job, it's just. I try to keep stuff like that. And believe it or not, people I work with are all the time saying, do you have a napkin? <laughs> you got some toilet paper? They know you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am basically prepared. And uh, just noticed on the back there on your strap, you got a uh, tire, gauge. tire gauge. Yeah, I actually have been out a couple of times where we used to take break or where we take break sometimes. There's a, a air thing where you fill up your tire and people are all the time saying, do y'all have a tire gauge? So I put one on here. It's actually pretty accurate too. Got it at a trade show. And then on the strap, on the shoulder straps here, you have two more pouches. There's like there's plenty of pouches yeah. on here. In here, I keep a pair of gloves. Mechanics gloves. These are, I'm guessing Duluth trading. Yep. Yep. Pretty good pair of gloves. Leather palm. Yeah, yep. they got all leather they're, knuckle. They're nice gloves. Duluth has some nice that's stuff. It's just expensive. There. Yeah. Duluth Trading's got some real nice stuff. I just can't in afford here, none of it. I've got a large carabiner, and this is a, a cinch strap. Like if I, I take this off and roll it up, I'll, I'll put the straps on it and cinch it down. Then when I put it up here, if for some reason I need to take it off, it stays rolled up. I can just lay it down, pick it up, hook it back up there real quick. And I've used them for other idea. things. Huh? That's a damn good idea. Yeah, I've used them for other things, but that, that's a big part of it. This, what I do, when I'm on a backhoe, there's really nowhere to put this. On uh, the road grader, there's a place to hang it. On the, the wheel loader, there's a place to hang it. But on the backhoe, there's really no place to hang it. So I'll take this and flick it through here. And then right on the, when you're getting in beside the column, there's a metal ledge there where the windows are split. Mm -hmm. I can take that and hook it right on there and it sets right in that corner just perfect. There you and go. I've hooked it on other things. It's, it's just a way to hook this. Just to hang it. Well, this, when you open it up, this will hang right in that metal ledge perfectly. Right. And that's just a way to hang that up. Okay. Then, oh, right we got here more. is actually where your hydration bladder goes, but I don't use that. Uh -huh. This is... Uh, just a notebook that I have in here for various things. And then this is just a 
I think it's got pen, pencil, paper. For various things I might have to have sometimes on the job. Clipboard. Clipboard. I've got one of those in my uh, my work bag. Plus it keeps this back rigid. Kind of stands it up a little bit. Right. And uh, I think that's about it now. I've, like I said, I've taken some things out. I took the uh, the phone and the speaker out to charge them and, and forgot to put them back in and some of the things I've been doing lately, I haven't used them, so I haven't really been thinking that much about it, but I'm gonna probably put them back in. So, is that everything? I think that's about everything for this bag. So, let me ask you this. We talked about the bag a minute ago. It is a little bit larger of a bag. Uh, it is you have size. some spare room. Would you, Would you? have you thought it about going to a bag. smaller bag with as many pouches, or are you pretty content with this I one? Have, I have thought about a smaller bag, but this bag, I. I have been on the job and needed it, believe it or not. Something has come up that I've needed to actually put Stuff something, something in, in there. here that has actually filled the bag up. So it's and, worked uh, out. It works out pretty good. And and when you when you get it on here and you cinch all these up and cinch it down, I mean it's pretty it, it tightens it up pretty good. You can tighten these all down and you cinch these all up on the side sense this one up and it's and it's actually not really that bad i mean it's kind of fat and i don't like that but it's not really that bad guys mm -hmm. i will try to find this on amazon and i'll try to link it in the description below um and just in case you see that and you now, want to try it out one thing about that, <coughs> i did watch the reviews on this and the guy said he has he had one of these and he liked it he loved it he bought another one when he got it, he said, it's not the same bag. He said, it says it's the same, but it's not. Something about this was different or something. And he said, this bag, one thing he didn't like, the zippers do not stay zipped all the way. They don't stay zipped all the way. Sometimes these zippers, I'll uh, I'll look at the bag and they'll be open that much. So they kind of they just work get squirrely, open work for some open. reason. Uh, Which other one? That one does. Seems like these at times will come a little bit, but it's not enough. It's not a game breaker for me. Uh, occasionally, this one might a little bit. You obviously haven't lost anything out of it. No, or you wouldn't be using it anything. anymore, right? Never lost anything. This one might come un unzipped about that much. And like I said, I I'm around enough. I'll just pull them pull them back up. It's right. not that big a deal. The main ones that do it are these right here. But you know I've I've opened this before and forgot to forgot to hook it back up and took it, slung it over my shoulder and walked around with it. Never lost anything out of it. Right. And it's like it's a good size bag. I mean, you got a lot of it's, room. It's it's a here. large bag. That's that's about the size of a, a three day assault pack. Actually, you know yeah. what what I would consider a three day assault pack. If style. it was a little smaller, it wouldn't bother me really. But that being said, right now it's winter time, so I'm not carrying a lot. During the summertime, especially when I'm farming, I'll have two or three bottles of water in here, food, bag of, might have a bag of chips, uh, pop tarts, all kinds of things in here. So it's it's been it's it's been full before. I mean, I'd rather have the room and not need it than to say, "Boy, I wish I had a little extra room in here." The, overall, I like the bag. So it's been a good bag for those that are that are just maybe getting into EDC and and getting into prepping. Would you tell them your mindset behind the the EDC bag and and maybe they're thinking about doing it? What things to consider, whether it be for work or you know or whatever? Because well, I know you carry stuff in here for work and for personal. The main thing that got me started, <laughs> I I've been on this job for thirty years and. When I first started, I didn't really take anything with me to work. And then we had these big water coolers that we would fill up in the morning with water. And when you put three people in a bob truck, there's really no room for anything. So we would have to put the shovels and the water and everything in the back. But when you're hauling dirt around to put out and it's a hundred degrees out and the dirt's dry and it blows around and it gets on the sweaty cooler, it's nasty. Makes a muddy mess. Mud. Yeah. So, and, you know, we didn't really take cups or anything to drink out of. So, 
you got to try to clean it off. So I just started taking a Coleman two quart or one quart water jug with yeah. me, and I just started carrying it. And then uh, we would go to break, and and you know, this thirty years ago, I didn't have much money. I just got married. You just came along. We were broke, <laughs> so. I couldn't really afford to eat every day. So I just went to Walmart and got one of those small bags like this plastic thing came out of. Yeah. And I would just put a sandwich or a can of SpaghettiOs, which I've been eating since like 1965 or six. <laughs> I've about lived on them. But I just carry that in there. And then, you know, if I was at work and, and needed something, and I thought, boy, I wish I had that. Well, I'd go home and put it in my bag. Uh, maybe... Uh, sinus medicine or or the tums or something i would stick them in the bag had it had a zipper thing on the front of the bag yeah well then you put a few napkins in there and uh those little drink things you put in the water you put a couple in there well pretty soon it fills up right so i ran out of room with it so i i just bought a little bit bigger bag and then it just progressively has gotten to where you're at today there was something that i needed on the job and didn't have it especially if it came up twice Right. I would put it in my bag, like, well, or if I thought, well, you know, that's something I might need again. Right. And it's kindly progressed to this, which, and and everything here, with the exception of, well, I haven't used the fire starter, but I have used the matches. Right. So I have had start fire. And I've said, I've, I've told people before, everything. at least at least once or twice, I've used everything in here. And I've told you, and I've told other people before, but you know, I'm I'm a smoker, so I carry. A big lighter everywhere I go. Uh, a lot of people who aren't smokers don't carry a lighter. I still I recommend everybody carry a lighter of some sort, whether or not you want to carry a Zippo lighter just for the fact of cool factor, or a big lighter just to have a way to ha- make flame. The pop here still won't won't listen to me. He won't carry a lighter. <laughs> I, got it. I carry enough stuff. I don't need a lighter. So um, basically, if you're looking at at getting into EDC or this is something you, you're you're obviously interested in uh, EDC bags or you wouldn't be watching this video. Um, basically, in his bag and in my bag, it's uh, assortment of things we need for work. It's assortment of things we need for personal, whether it be hygiene, whether it be medicine, whether it be, you know, whatever. Tools for work and just uh, things that, you know, the, the electronics kit to keep your phone going and uh, your music or whatever. But... Just, I use those more than I use anything. There you go. If we, we used to go pick up a car, my hands would be filthy when we'd get done. Yep. I'd just wipe them off the best I could. My wife put some of these in the truck one time. I said, why are you bringing baby wipes? <laughs> and I went, we were going to pick up a car, as a matter of fact. When I got done, my hands were filthy. And I got in the truck, and she went, I said, thank you very much. So Mom saves those, the day. I carry those everywhere because of my wife, and I use a lot of them. Matter of fact, when this is new, this is about that thick. Yeah. And it's not been in there very long. But <laughs> I actually have people at work say, hey, you got any of those wipes? <laughs> but I, I use everything in here. But and like if we go pick up a Jeep or, or something, you know, I'll throw this bag in there. Because yep. if it's if it's hot out and you're working to try to load a Jeep on a trailer or something, when you get done and you're dirty, you want to clean your hands and there's a bottle of water right we, there. We use them damn near every time we go pick up something and put it on a trailer or, you know, whatever. We use them just about every time but anyway we are at 33 minutes so uh we're gonna go ahead and end this video uh if you have any questions feel free to put them in the comments below and i will i try to answer everyone's questions and i try to uh to at least respond to every comment uh got anything else you need to say one more thing i have been carrying this bag for at least about a year yeah right at it and I try to keep it clean, but it has no wear on it. No wear and tear. Nothing has tore up yet. I'm very pleased with the bag. And now, it the, seems to be a good bag. It's worth saying we're we're rough on our stuff. I we use it. Yeah, I mean we we are hard on our stuff. Uh, I mean, and the only thing I really see is right there a little bit of fraying. Well, but, yeah, but other is, than that, and I think that might have been that. Like it's been that way for a while. And this actually comes undone here. This is a different thing here. I'm not. This comes to it. It's a lot bigger. Yeah. Than it. 
I mean, that's, then it needs to be. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I just that's I to know. hold your that's to pull your straps up. I guess. Yep. But that's I mean, exactly what yeah, it's for. You can adjust these. Yeah. Right that's here. to pull your straps up right. higher to get your back back higher on your back. Because I didn't need all that that big. So right. I it on there, but yeah, that's the only. And that could have been like that it, when you got well, it. Well, the thing about it is that's not where. Not really. Yeah. I mean, it's just. It's excess because it stops right, right here. Right. It, it never was so dirty. What, what was so, the? Do you remember what the price on that bag was, or around about? Uh, now that less than fifty. No, I think it was about sixty. About sixty. Okay. In the area, and I thought, and which is more than I've ever paid for one. I'm usually the twenty, thirty dollar bag, but. We've we've the, ran into the well, issues the one, with them. <laughs> well, the ones I, that I bought at Walmart, I paid thirty bucks for, and it, yeah, you know that one, it just it was wearing out, and yeah. I didn't use it i mean about a year yeah, i mean we sling them guys we take them everywhere with us they're in and out of trucks they're in and out of obviously heavy equipment uh you know i farm in the summer uh every once in a while and mine's in and out of tractors and uh my normal summer job is um, i travel around uh the boot hill and i i work on computers and networks so i mean mine's in and out of vans cars trucks in and out of buildings and and for a bag to hold up for a year for us is is pretty good um and 60 bucks is probably well, the most you, he spent on one <laughs> if you think about it if you go to walmart you're going to pay 20 or 30 dollars at walmart for any any basic bag especially yeah. with molly on it right and then by the time you go buy these for eight or ten no. twelve or fifteen dollars those right there max, are 30 this is max <laughs> yeah yeah they're gonna be it's 30 35 higher. yeah these are eight or ten dollars yeah bags. those are eight or ten max yeah. is a lot higher but yeah. these are good bags. now yeah those right. those these don't wear out right. <laughs> but by the time you buy these and you and you hook them on a, a bag and you get three or four of them you're gonna have you're 60, in close to 100 50, bucks 60 yeah bucks in a bag anyway yeah. so you're for 60 something dollars and that's why i bought it at that price, which I, I hardly ever look at the any for that price, but I thought, yeah. well, it's already got all the pockets that I want. What I only thing I wish it had was more of these pockets inside, right? To put more things, but I'm I'm happy with the bag. I mean, I, I like the bag. It's it's war good. We are very very frugal, and I, I come by that honest. But to me, especially with this channel, I want to get cheaper budget gear to test for you guys to look at and and i can give y'all a, a an idea of how how good it's going to be uh some things i've got a bag at the house for instance that i carried for two years straight that i'm going to do uh, another review on here in the next few days that is just it, i spent like 20 bucks on it and it's falling apart it has absolutely fell apart my current edc bag i've had you remember when i bought that hazard four it's been about four it's been five years ago because i was still living with y'all so uh, I bought a Hazard 4, which anybody who's familiar with the, the brand, it is, um, it was about a $350 backpack. And the old man here thought I was crazy when I spent $350 on a backpack. I used some of my income tax money. I bought it. I thought, you know, I love this bag. I love the way it looks. I love everything about it. I bought it. That bag has gone with me every day for five years. It's been on my motorcycle in rainstorms. It's fell off of my motorcycle and skidded down the highway. It has not one fray, not one tear, not one bit of wear on it. It's the best $350 I've ever spent. But I can't recommend that to everybody because not everybody has $350 to spend on a backpack. So stuff like this, and that's where I'm going with this, stuff like this, 60 bucks. Most guys I know, no matter, you know, they can come up with 50 or 60 bucks to buy a decent, halfway decent to very good backpack. So over a year he's been carrying it. There's very little to no wear on it. I've got, I've got several years more out of this. Yeah. I, I think I can go the way it's held up for a year, two or three, four or five years probably, unless right. something major happens to it. Just the way it's been going, it, there's no issue with it at all. At the end of the control. day, you really do get what you pay for. In a lot of in a lot of instances, especially when it comes to gear like this, you absolutely there's some gear you can skimp on, but there's some gear that you just it's not going to last if you don't well, pay a little bit the, more. The big Ozark, quality. <laughs> well, the the big Ozark Trail that I got, I bought on sale for thirty dollars. I think it was regular forty fifty. It bucks. was regular like fifty the or sixty, one. yeah. And then the small Ozark Trail that wore out in like a year. That those were the wearing. I don't know. Those are field line. Is that what it oh, was? Hold on. Field line, okay. Yeah, I don't remember. Walmart, come from Walmart. But oh, it, my video uh, stopped. Huh? Oh, my video stopped. Oh, the battery died. Go ahead. But it, uh, it it didn't hold up. And that was a $30 backpack. 
So, you know, if you're, right. you can either buy three $30, $30 a bags, one, a $30 one every year, or you yeah. can buy a $60 one that's going to last two or three years. Right. And, and you end up being the same money. Well, a lot of it was, I didn't know how I was going to like them. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money sure. on something I was going to use a month or two and then throw it in the closet. And by the way, I've got about 20 bags in the closet. We're backpack whores. I've gone through a lot of them. <laughs> We're uh, backpack whores. Trying to find, just, just it's trying, trying to, to find, find the system that works. That works, works for what it's I trying need. to find the system that and works. It works. Like I said, it doesn't, you don't have a lot of stuff hanging off of it. And, and, and I'm not against that. I like stuff hanging off of them. I think it's, it's all right. But yeah. when you've got that hanging on there and you're around stuff that I am, sometimes it'll get hung on there and right. hung up where, where nothing here gets hung up. Nothing, right. That's the thing I was going for there. Cool. Well, we are at 40 minutes, so uh, you got anything else? No. All right. Well, guys, I've taken up 40 minutes of your time. Hopefully, you made it all the way to the end. Uh, if so, uh, if you like what we do and uh, you like the videos, go ahead and uh, hit subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified every time I uh, upload new content. As always, thank you for watching. Y'all have a good one.